about how to create a successful ad. And I feel like a lot of people really struggle with creating ads and this will be very, very valuable for you. And we're gonna go through a little bit of the psychology, not too deep. Um, I'm using my little notes down here. And I'm gonna break down the ad for you and what actually creates conversions. So this is gonna be for anyone that is trying to either sell a product with ads or you are trying to get leads with ads if you're doing an ad of any kind, okay? So first of all, we're gonna talk about the headline of your ad. And the, the, very, the very first thing you wanna focus on, the most important thing is going to be, um, does it feature your product's biggest um, benefit? And what do I mean by benefit? I think that sometimes uh, it's very, very easy to get caught up in um, benefits. And when we think about benefits, we think of features, we think of um, you know how cool my thing is. And we start to focus on what it is that we're, we're providing, we're selling, whatever it is. Your benefit is your transformation. What's the biggest transformation that your, um, your business offers, that this product offers, that the thing that you're offering offers? What's the biggest transformation? If you can get that down, that's the, the very first thing that people should see in your heading is the transformation, okay? We're gonna go to number two. Uh, is it a real, gra uh, a, a real grabber? Does it elicit emotion? So if you create something, you create an ad, and you look at it, it should show you a transformation and you should feel something. It should make you feel an emotion. If your ad doesn't make you feel an emotion, it's not the right ad. So make sure that anytime you are doing any type of um, ad for a product or service, number one, what transformation do you deliver? And number two, does it make you feel something, right? Okay, um, now we'll go into, um, uh, let's see, you want it to, obvi well obviously you want it to be on a video or a graphic, it's gotta be um, a bigger than the rest of the copy. Um, is it powerful enough to get people to read the rest of your post? So when you put an ad out there, it's either gonna be a video or it's gonna be a graphic, and then you're gonna have the description. So the idea is to draw people in. Will they watch the full video? Will they, wa will they watch the full video and will they read the content? Will they look at the graphic and be pulled into the content, right? Is it strong enough to pull them in? Um, is it authoritative and not wimpy, right? Is it confident? It's not, oh, by the way, I have this cute little thing, right? You want to be authoritative in what it has, what you have to offer. Um, and it should be entitled now, right? So you want to make sure that whatever font you're using is a title cap. I, um, I have, or sentence, sentence cap, sorry. Um, you can also do it in, I've done things like videos in all caps, which is fine depending on the font. Um, but it, if it's copy, you want to do sort of that title, you know, where each each first letter of a word is capitalized. Um, you could do all caps if it's um, short, right? If it's if it's only a few words, that works as well. As, um, um, and then if you put your title in quotes, um, this is going to actually boost reading it by twenty five percent. So. Um, remember this, that even when you're, maybe even when you're doing social media posts, if something is in quotes, you're going to get 25% more people reading your content if there's an actual quote mark, right? Okay, so let's talk about your body copy, the first sentence. Are you using one of the dozen body cop uh, jumping starters? Um, and that is really, uh, the very first one is what's in it for me? It could be their problem that they're dealing with. It could be an ultimate promise. Does it naturally flow from the headline? Does it get um, right into the benefits for, for the reader instead of breaking about your company? This is so important. 
So you really want to talk about their struggles and everything. And then you want to talk about what? The transformation that they are going to receive. You don't want to go into how amazing your, your business is. You're not going to get any results saying, hey, I'm this and I do amazing this. I, I sell this. It's only if you go into the transformations that your ideal client is going to receive. Um, does it almost force people to read the second line? And so you'll see even like some first words are like partial sentences, dot, dot, dot. It's, some, it's supposed to pull you in, right? Um, and then the word use, uh, I'm sorry, you want to use the word you um, in one of the first few words. So the, in fact, the more you use the word you is going to be better. Um, and uh, that just draws people in. So anytime you really want to get more attention online, you've got your header and you start the first sentence, do you deal with X, Y, and Z, right? Use the word you. Um, then we're going to talk about the body copy. We're going farther down um, past the first sentence. Does it focus on how the reader will benefit? Again, transformation. Does it tell your readers why they should buy from you rather than from a competitor who offers the same product or service? This is where your authority comes in. This is where your story comes in. This is where a story of transformation you've delivered to a client is going to come in, right? You want to communicate a transformation. Um, if your product or service is exciting, does it sound exciting? Make it exciting. Um, and then you want to make sure that it is it, it flows in a very methodical way. Getting attention, stimulating interest, building desire, offering proof, asking for action. That's the formula, the five point formula, okay? Um, and then, um, this is, this is another thing is if you're trying to sell too much in one ad, it's important to try to just focus on one product or service. If you start to go into all the things that you offer, it's going to be over, uh, it's going to be too much. Um, and then if you have a lot of copy, you want to make sure it's broken up and readable. So you will, you'll actually see marketers will do this where we're writing copy and it's broken up and dot, dot, dot next next you know enter enter dot 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 because we're trying to make it consumable you'll see this in blog posts as well you always want to break up your copy you don't want to do these big solid blocks of text um, and then you want to you want your copy to be colorful um, and sprinkle with power visual objectives and then is it believable it you don't want it to be overblown or ridiculous because then people aren't going to pay any attention okay and um, there are certain colors that are the most popular. Blue is the most one of the most popular colors. Red is a really popular color psychologically, um, and black is a really good color. When you see brands use a lot of these colors, um, like Coca-Cola. In fact, I heard another marketer say, "Never use red in your advertising." And I wanted to say, um, "Okay, uh, tell that to Coca-Cola, right?" Um, you want to make sure that it's respectful for the reader and not insulting to them and uh, make sure that you're not in, you know putting them down in, in any way right um, it you want to, it to um, create emotion and your body copy to create emotion so your ad is create the, the creative is creating emotion your copy is also creating emotion and then um, um, let's see what else um, you want to make all of your sentences and words short. And again, it's back to breaking things up and making things um, readable. Um, you want to outright, outright ask for the sale, ask for the opt-in. Um, if there's a deadline, you want to state the deadline. If you have a lot of uh, transformations that you offer, list them. Um, if you have testimonials, you're going to include them. Um, and then, um, you can include your logo, all of that. Um, and then let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, some of the different platforms and, and ads that you might run on different platforms. Um, because, you know, it's gonna be very, very different if you're gonna run an ad on LinkedIn versus Facebook, Instagram versus TikTok, right? 
Um, and really what's important is that um, you are going to focus on what's native to those platforms. On TikTok, you're gonna focus on things that are trending, that people care about, that they're searching for, right? You're gonna use some wisdom around what people are searching for, what they care about. Um, over on LinkedIn, uh, video does really, really well, but what does even better is um, some sort of a video that has a, just a small little am animation in it. Uh, if you're doing a, an ad over on Facebook or Instagram, um, you, I find that videos and reels are gonna do a lot better over there. Um, you wanna make sure it's easily, can be easily uh, uh, read, and you know you're you're not using any like of the swirly um, calligraphy or any of that kind of stuff. Um, lots of white space is always really really um, good. And then um, you want to use you know illustrations and all that. Um, and then and make sure that whatever whatever your you know whatever illustrations or videos or whatever are aligned with your brand or product. Um, and then you're only going to use one, no more than three fonts. You really want to keep the fonts down. Um, and then do you feature a, a picture of a person looking at you? It's one of the most powerful ways to grab people's attention. So if you ever notice when, if you run an ad and you do a photo of yourself and it's you looking at people, that is going to get the biggest ROI. So, um, you know, if you have if, whether you are selling a product, you're holding product, and you're looking into the camera, or whether you are um, somebody that is is doing an ad for your business, or it's um, um, you know an image of a person. Anytime you do a, an image of a person that is smiling and looking at the camera, it's going to be the best photo to do for an ad. So I know that this is a little bit short. I just wanted to kind of go over my notes as this was top of mind, um, really on how to create solid ads and some of the tips and tricks around getting conversions. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.